I'm dying today. I'm gonna, I'm gonna die today. Ever wondered what happens when someone with a warrant calls the cops on her? Or someone argues with the cops after assaulting one? We were down to her baby. Dad's picking up her son. Why they, they, they started both it up? The law is no laughing matter, and landing in hot water with them is never a good idea. The females in this car just um, pulled up here to fight my friend. Get ready for a wild ride as we spill the beans on four cases where the police apprehend individuals with warrants. For our first story, we will witness how 19-year-old Braylon Rhodes participated in a fight and got the police involved. On February 21st, 2022, when the police went in to calm everyone down, they realized that Braylon had warrants. On a cloudy afternoon in Chillicothe, Ohio police received a complaint about two females fighting. Upon arriving at the scene of the incident, police started their standard procedure, not knowing that they will find someone with a concealed warrant. Seeing the police approaching, one of the distinguished members of the fight club started recalling what had transpired. What's going on? These girls just pulled up here to fight my friend. That's what happened. And they fought and then they wanted to stand outside and scream. They didn't want to leave. These two here. They, they, yeah, all the, all the, not this, I'm not going to say this black car. They didn't cause no drama. I don't know who's in this Kia, but the bitches in this car, my, I'm sorry. The females in this car just um, pulled up here to fight my friend. Okay. And they fought and they wanted to continue to stand outside and yell. They didn't want to leave. Yeah. What's the problem between you guys? I literally just got chased out of her baby dad's house and I came here and she pulled up. She kept hurling insults at the other group and proceeded to inform them that the entire situation was caused because of jealousy between the ex-wife and current love interest of a man and the fight took place right there. Did y'all fight here or did you fight down here? Right here. Right here. Who'd you fight, the one driving? No, the girl, that, the girl driving is pregnant, but the girl outside the car is who fought. Where did the car in the black come from? Uh, they're just trying to leave. They're, it's just there's cars blocking people in because everybody's outside in the road yelling and whatnot. Okay. Police started to talk with the supposed lover of the man. She identified herself as Braylon Rhodes. Officers soon discover that the 19-year-old had warrants. How old are you? 19. 19? Okay. All right. Well, I got bad news for you. You got a couple warrants. It's because I have COVID. Huh? And she missed report. I literally just got off the phone with them on Friday. They told me to call on Monday. But I have a paper in the house saying I have COVID. Yeah, she had COVID and couldn't go to her court date. She faxed the papers over, but they said that they didn't okay. get them in time or something. Braylon tried to use COVID as a get out of jail free card but soon realized making excuses only works when you are a toddler. The officer immediately handcuffed her and escorted her to a police car. Right, yeah, it's still showing on our end. So you got anything on you that you need to get rid of? Just put your palms together off your frame. The other way around. Just do the drill this. <laughs> Another officer was seen talking with the ex-wife and friends of her. Rebecca Vaught, as she was later identified as, brought two cheerleaders with her. You fit into all this? Um, the one with the pink and blue hair was the one that started all of her with me. So, do you know that one? Um, Mom, the cops just got called on me, so I probably need you to come get the kids. I have it all. I f***ed up. That's why I didn't uh, go home with me. You get your ID, your license, or whatever? I have no idea. Somewhere. I'm water shooting on the hill, Mom. You'll see all the cop cars. Do you have an ID on you, ma'am? No. Okay. Yeah. No, I do not have mine on me. Okay. Yep. 
No, I have no car seats. They're in the car. Uh, Courtney's car seats. What's your name? Courtney Sayer. I, yeah, I, I got it too. I got it too. Okay, well, I gotta get off the chairs. Okay. I'm talking to the officer. Okay. Oh, that's heaven. Hand that back to him. Courtney, what's your birthday? Mine, six, twelve, nine. She's pregnant, and they just tried to. Yeah, they just tried to. I wasn't this doing girl, anything but trying to get Everybody, her. calm just down. Let me get everybody I'm identified, okay? Scared. Just take a deep breath, okay? Because now there's they just three to come police officers. And I don't even know what the f They're coming out what? They threatened to shoot this up. Well, let me ask everybody this: Why are we all here? Why are you here? I'm coming to come here. Five so We're just you're coming here to five because they said come over here to five, correct? Us and the neighbors. I mean, I didn't swing first, though. Or yeah, to. And I, I didn't touch her first. And she I, touched me first. Wait, wait, what's your name? Uh, Rebecca Bott. That little girl kicked you. No, face. she didn't. She kicked my arm. She kicked me in the face. What was your last name again? Uh, Bott, B A U G H T. And what's your birthday? 525.99. What's your address? Same as hers. Right now, she's staying with me. Yeah, her. That little girl. With me. All right, ma'am, what's your name? Jordan, she was the one that called the one that called the cops. Yeah, no, I saw her. So she wasn't. I mean, she's probably seen it. What's your birthday? I caught like half of it, 61598. Rebecca's parents finally arrive at the scene. Yeah, I wasn't necessarily needing the, the long drawn out version. I just, I, obviously, I figured something was here. Um, here goes. Yeah, oh, is this mom? Yeah. So, as far as I'm concerned, you're valid. I mean, hell, if you want to just. Is there any car seats? Don't rip my ass. Yeah, all the kids are in car seats. Well, Hi. Don't rip my ass. I'm just going to give you an option. Let me take them, sign them over for a while, because they got tape right now at the apartment. So you guys toss and royal back and forth. A brief verbal scuffle broke out again between the two rival groups. Done with it. Keep talking that shit, bro. Why are you still talking shit? I know. Your baby, your has got her ass beat. She's still talking shit. Stop. 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 Listen, you're you're literally about to go on about your way, okay? Police then discover that Rebecca's children were inside her friend's vehicle. The officer went on to conduct a wellness check on the children. What, what are we doing, lost, kids? They just made you her guys... lose her kids. Huh? They just made her lose her kids. She came up here voluntarily. We were down to her baby dad picking up her son. Why, they, they, they started broke the day. up. They Listen, started back here. Listen, let me fact, ask you this. Since we want to talk about this, her baby died for her answer. Yeah, and my baby dad just choked me, too. Else, okay, do you want something done about that? Yeah, I want to press charges on him for that, too. Okay, so he... You want me to start divvying out some of the citations too, and then I'm going to tow your car because you got fictitious plates, and what are we going to do about the kids? Huh? You guys can take them. Huh? Yeah. Okay. Okay. <sighs> Okay, are the kids okay? Yeah. Okay. Come here. <laughs> so, Come here. looks like there's only three, only three car seats, right? Sit down, Bobby. Sit back, please. Thank you. So what, what happened earlier? You say baby daddy, right? Yeah, I went to go pick him up. And where did this happen at? Uh, from his... What he said this is from his dad. Probably, doesn't surprise me. And what apartment? Can I, out in the same plaza apartment. Which one's the same plaza? Behind Danbury. Yeah, behind. <clears throat> the one's okay. right behind Danbury. Oh, so that makes sense. We were looking for you guys earlier. Yes, there, there's video I, of... Him, no, he was yanking my hair out, Mom. Because they shone. Yeah. Okay. Then they get him on video with him talking. talking. We just came all the way from Girls Road because we've been back this far. They have it on video. Ernie Large is the one that runs his apartment. Okay, well, He's the next cop. You can see it on the camera of him choking. Because he's choking right in the parking lot. So this is out in the parking lot, right? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So let me ask you guys this. Obviously, something happened, some kind of physical altercation, but like literally, we were coming there. 
So why did you guys just run Because I was just leaving. I didn't know the cops were coming. He put okay. my hands on. Yeah, he so put my hands on this. Leaving. So now since we're here, now everyone wants to press charge on everybody. When we could have handled this. I was getting ready to call the cops, but when I pulled on. That was over an hour and a half ago. He likes to run anywhere. Yeah, when yeah he, as soon as the cops And that's fine until he'll have a warrant. But, but my question is, like, all of a sudden now it takes four law enforcement officers to be here right now at this given moment. Everyone was press charging everybody. That's why I'm confused. Meanwhile, Braylon won a free trip to the police station. At the station, she tried to explain her situation to the officer. Later, she was sent to jail. Thank you, sir. Did they need the bird? Well, she never did say. Did she? Make a rack. His legs wrapped up around the table. Sit there. I, I thought the same thing. Nah, I'm good. You need to stay the hell out of here. And this time it's really not my fault. I have COVID. <laughs> and I faxed my paper to my lawyer. They just didn't get it over in time, and then I got a bench warrant. And they told me to call on Monday, and nobody answered the phone. I swear to God, I can't make it up. <laughs> I even left the place old girl pulled up at so she wouldn't get me in trouble. Mm -hmm. And she followed me to my house. This Monday, right? Yes. Yep. You go about maple or rose? Rose. Rose. Who's Brianna Maple? Braylon Rhodes was charged with disorderly conduct and aggravated possession of drugs. For our next incident, we will see someone with three prior warrants finally decides to turn his life around. But before that, let's see how someone with a history of assaulting police officers decides to argue with them. Oh, well, I'm not going to jail! I ain't demon! You are going to jail. For our second altercation, we meet Mordell Galbraith, a grown man with the hearing comprehension of a kindergartner. He was not only causing disturbance to the local shops in Illinois on May 7th, 2022, he also threw a temper tantrum when the police came to inquire about him. Upon seeing the police, Mordiel started explaining his childish behavior to the police. What's up, bro? Man, how you so hard? No, 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 no. When walking past, and the girl, the girl, the girl, the girl say, what's the problem, how can I help you? She, she, walks, she, she walks up to me and say that. So I'm, I'm, I'm like, honestly, how you you can help me? Where were you? Which business were you inside? I wasn't inside no business. I wasn't inside no business at all. I wasn't, I wasn't inside no business. I was walking past the business. You were walking past? Yeah. Okay. I wasn't inside none of the business. I wasn't even, I wasn't, I wasn't even up, up on this part. Get the yellow part. Okay. I wasn't on the yellow part. I all. gotcha. Okay. So we got called down because you were uh, making a disturbance. You were bothering people. Actually, I was. Actually, I wasn't. That was my witness. My witness just walked past. He said, I'm going to witness to what just happened. The officer told Mordiel that he was talking too loud, and people usually don't like it when a stranger talks to them like that. Mordale swiftly claimed that he had holes in his lungs, and that is why he talks loud. She say, well, I got kids. I said, yes, I said, you know what? Get away from me. Get away from me. Yeah, his, his name is Mordale. He's already checking on the warrant. What, 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 what are you trying to prove? What's you got kids. What, what are you trying to prove? Why are you talking to me? Why am I talking to you? No, I'm telling her that. Oh, why she, uh, I don't know. Well, I gotta tell you, man, with the, with the way you're talking to me, if that's how you're talking to people passing by, then that's why we got called. Yeah. No, how am I talking? Because I told the guy, well, 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 now you just dropped your voice, but I've been talking for the lungs, bro. I hold last my five lungs. minutes, man. <laughs> I've been talking loud because I hold my lungs, bro. Okay. I've been sitting y'all for a long time. You I wanna hold go in the shade over here? We'll stay a little bit cool so we're not on the sun. I hold my lungs. When I talk loud, I got holes in my lungs, bro. You got holes in your lungs? Holes in my lungs. Yeah, holes in my lungs. Yeah, holes in my lungs. Okay, did you I have surgery? More, you lost a lot of weight, man. Yeah. You did a good job. 
He then went on a tirade about something which was completely unrelated to his situation. He was like, okay, let's come on. So, so the guy, so the guy, so, so, after he walked past, as he walked past, she, 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 she said, he said, he turned around focused on listening. Mm -hmm. So me and, me and the guy there were talking about me and me and people in my home. The supervisor arrives at the scene to tell Morday that he had a warrant for his arrest. He denied having a warrant and instantly became agitated. The supervisor told him that he was under arrest. Hey, Mor hey Mordell. How are you, bro? How are you, sir? Just chilling. Hey, you eating good. good. Huh? You eating good. You got a little bigger. How are you? Nice you to see you. Good. Yeah? Hey, listen, uh, um, so we checked your name through the base. Mm -hmm. They said there's a warrant for your arrest. There's a warrant for my arrest. There no is. Warrant. No warrant. So hold on, wait, 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 bro. Hold on, guys. Wait, bro, right. wait, bro. Hold on. Bag so, on. No, listen. Bag on. There's a warrant for your arrest for battery. For battery who? For battery of some other police officers when you had another thing going on. I ain't never got no warrant, bro. I'm telling you, I already checked. Never. You have a warrant. You have a warrant. No, I don't, bro. Yes, you do. Bro. You have a felony warrant. For battery. Bro, y'all trying to f me. I'm not going nowhere, bro. Look. look yeah, bro. listen, Mordell. Look. You're under arrest. Bro, I'm not. Yes, you are. Look, bro. You're look, under bro. arrest. Look, bro. You're not going to take me to jail, bro. Mordy started to shout that he was going to end himself. He also refused to accept the fact that he had a warrant. He started arguing with the supervisor. Watch me die. You have a warrant. Oh, oh, oh. On you. Oh, oh. On you. I'm a, I'm a, and y'all what? Well, y'all take this, cause I'm about to die right now. I'm gonna the grave, about to die. I'm gonna the grave, about to die. I'm gonna the grave, about to die. Mordell, we don't want any kind of problems. Watch me. Oh my God, I'm gonna the grave, about to die. Mordell, you have a felony warrant. Oh, uh, who? On you. Against who? Against you. How? You okay. have a felony warrant. I swear to God, I'm about to die. You're I swear to God, I'm about to die. You're under arrest. I swear to God, I'm about to die. You're under arrest. I swear to God, I'm about to die. I should have gotten about that. Oh my God, I'm about that. His next bright idea was to threaten the police. He even pulled the race card to deflect accountability. Did you have a gun? Nope. Why is I going to buy a bag? Because I'm pulling them. You're going to pull a gun? What, are you going to take one of our guns? I'm pulling them. You're not taking one of our guns. I'm going to buy a bag. If I'm going to jail, they're going to buy a bag. So you're, you're telling me that you're going to intentionally try to disarm one of our police officers? I'm, I'm not going to jail. I ain't you did are, nothing. You are going to jail. I ain't did nothing. Yes, you did. You have a warrant. You have a felony warrant for battery. For who? For you. For who? For you. Who do I batter? Who do I batter? You battered a police officer. Who? I don't know the specific name, but I, but the warrant's been verified. I <laughs> trust me. Call my mother. Call my mother right now. I'm not going. I'm not going. You are going. I bet you I don't go. Hey, Mordell. Mordell I bet you going to bite that. This is all on camera. I bet you. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Any grave. Oh, where any grave. May he rest in peace. I bet I'm going to bite that. The supervisor, clearly having had enough, was ready to tase Mordale if necessary. Galbraith repeatedly asked why he had a warrant and failed to comprehend why it was issued. Well, why, don't, why don't we just go over here and talk? Yeah. Mordell, let's go over here and talk, you and I. Yeah, man. Mordell, look at me. Let's go over here and talk. Let's try and figure this out. When do you come? When do you come talk to me? Bro, I'm swinging on this motherfucker. When they come talk to me, I'm swinging. Oh my god, by the grave on GDM, I'm swinging. On GDM, I'm swinging. On GDM, I'm swinging. We about to go, I'm going to jail today, I'm going to death so today. So you're telling me that you're going to hit I'm me. dying today. You're gonna, I'm, you're gonna I'm going to die today. The officers swiftly moved in to apprehend Mordeal. He quickly became aggressive and started to resist arrest. He was handcuffed and was escorted to a cruiser. Give me another cup. Give me another cup. 
to cover your head. Just you don't, don't hit your head. Don't hit your head. He's got some cash and stuff in his pocket. Let's just get him back to the. Okay. We're going to take him straight to. Yep. Okay. Yeah. 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 As mentioned before, now we will see how this person decided to turn his life around while being arrested by the law enforcement. Is that just from your anxiety or what? Yeah. Take and deep, I just ate. Take deep breaths, man. Our third incident involves a 22-year-old man named Noah Betts. He made the mistake of running away from cops to rake up warrants for his arrest. He was playing a dangerous game as he drove recklessly to get away from police. On a cold morning, officers of Onalaska City Police in La Crosse County, Wisconsin located Noah. After weeks of searching, they isolated Noah to his mother's house. The officers set up a perimeter around the house. On March 3rd, 2022 officers finally located Noah at his mother's house. He tried to hide, and even his mother tried to cover for him. Can you talk to Noah? And obviously he just walked that way, so hold on. easy way and a hard way for him right now. I know, hold on. We saw him in the room. We him He's already gone. The cop had already seen him, and all the other exists were being watched by other officers. Well, we have a guy in back, so... That's the only other way to get out. So he's still in the house. Okay, okay. So... Mom just tried to tell me that he was already out of the house. 4891, you can see the whole back, correct? And you got the salt side, right? Yeah, I got the Bo has got the salt side. And until we can absolutely confirm he's still inside the house, just if you want to just check south, just make sure he's not hiding or actually made it out somehow. Noah, seeing no way out, approved the officer at the door. Yeah, it's fine, man, if you want to talk to me. I, it's hard to hear, but yeah, if you want to come talk. Yeah, I'm not going to rush in. I just, I'll talk to you right now. I, I'm not going to rush in, man. Just open the door. I'm not going to rush in. He's just I'll talking talk to, to his son right Okay, now. that's fine, and I'll let you talk, man. Noah said his goodbye to his relatives. The officer made a point that he will make sure the report mentioned that he was calm throughout the process. Yes, you guys are right. Because we don't want to do this again, right? No. Just this remember this right now. Have this thing over your head. For real, you ain't looking over. Phone just phone yeah. numbers. Yeah. Perfect. I saw you writing them down. I forget. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> right, love you. Okay. I love you. Okay. It's all right. You got this. Noah can be heard saying that he hates being quarantined and that he doesn't get to have showers. I don't want to do quarantine. <laughs> <laughs> That's why you're... <laughs> I hate it. You don't get to shower. Supposed to be all right? I hate it. I want to go home. Well, be yeah. the, if that's the worst part of it, you'll be all right. While handcuffed, he embraced the relatives one last time before leaving. He was put in the back of a police vehicle. Well, you got this. You got this, okay? It was okay, no, not too tight or anything. No, they're fine. Yeah. I love you. Just keep your head up, all right? This is it. Just Last time we're doing this, okay? During their ride to the station, Noah wondered how he was located, which led to a light-hearted conversation between him and the officer. How? Yeah. We've been, dude, I've been checking all your places. And then we came by, we seen the lights on, so I said, well, at least we'll go take a peek in the window and see what, uh, see what's there. And we just, the way we, the way I see it, obviously, as soon as I got to the window, I seen you, and then when you got up, I'm like, well, there he is, and, I mean, I've been, lo I was looking for you yesterday and the day before, too, I just get lucky every now and then. This thing needs brakes. Yes, it does. It's, it's in, it's in the order, man. Yeah, I see. <laughs> <laughs> the back one's rubbing a little bit. Thank you for letting me talk to my kids, too. Like I said, man, as long as you're cool, calm, and collected, I'll take all the time I need. You know? I appreciate that. We get paid the same, you know? Cause yeah, honestly, as soon as I seen you, we could have came right in, but no sense in that. Take time, to wait for you to make a good decision. That way you can get better. Yeah, they all convinced me that this was the time. Yeah, you just gotta get, just take care of your stuff, man. So you don't have to look over your shoulder every day you drive or every day you're doing something, man. At the station, Noah proved he was no cold-hearted criminal, as his anxiety got the best of him, and he felt like throwing up. 
That sometimes people forget to do that. Take care of themselves before they start trying to take care of everybody else. <coughs> you trying to hurry? Put it out. I feel like I'm puke. What was that? Yeah, we're here. My anxiety is like running through the roof. I feel like I'm gonna puke. Yeah, we're here, man. I can't, vi- I can't <coughs> speed to get you here. Huh? I can't speed to get you here. <laughs> oh. You got your window down or what? I just need a garbage right away. No, oh, dude, do not do it in my car for the love of God. I'm trying not to, I'm trying, my stomach hurts. Deep now. breaths. Anxiety or what? Yeah. Take and deep, I just ate. Take deep breaths, man. It's not the end. It's not the end. Oof, I'm downwind. <coughs> now the jail's gonna think you're sick. I'm not, I swear. <laughs> Alright. I'll let you take care of the garbage. Oh. <laughs> I'll bring a garbage can over by you. Let's have a seat right there, man. So you keep Woo! trying to take deep breaths. Oh. Have a seat over here. Right. Just trying to no, I get pace you. myself. Noah Betts was taken into custody with three warrants and was charged with felony counts of fleeing an officer, bail jumping and misdemeanor vehicle operating while revoked. Instead of turning a new leaf like Noah, our next final individual decided to run and hide from his dark past. We got a good phone number for you? Uh, I don't have a phone hooked up yet. You don't have a phone? No, not yet. Okay. Our final incident involves a man named Anthony David, who had a warrant for meth possession and another one for operating a vehicle without license. Police stopped the individual on March 23rd, 2023. Soon after the police discovered that he had a warrant in Stratford, Connecticut, the Marshall Field officer told Anthony that his passenger side headlight was not working. Hello. Oh. Hey. My name's Matt. Hi. Work for the PD. Hi. Uh, the reason I stopped, yeah, your passenger side headlight's so. out. It's out? Yeah. Mind if I get out and look at it? Uh, when we're done. I just, I just looked at it and it was working. Okay. No, it's not working now. The orange like the amber bulb in there is working, but the white one's not. Surprisingly, the officer found out that he did not have a driver's license at hand. Uh, You have an ID on you at all? Thanks. What you guys up to tonight? Not much, going to the gas station and heading home to build more in the shop. Okay. The officer was able to procure a name, Anthony, and some additional information was also given to him. Not only that, the officer seemingly was able to find someone who doesn't even have a phone. Middle initial? D. Okay. And your last name? Yes. Yes. It's your birthday, Anthony. Okay. Your current address? It's, uh... I just moved. Um, I'm in the apartment buildings by uh, by the Woodfield. The, yeah. Okay. Do you do you know your apartment number? Okay. We got a good phone number for you. Uh, I don't have a phone hooked up yet. You don't have a phone? No, not yet. Okay. <laughs> Finally, Anthony produced an ID. The officer gladly took it to his cruiser to check it. You have a shop at like your old place or? No, shop at my house. Thanks. Oh, okay. One, four, four, Marshall. You still living on E? Uh, All right, cool. All right. Well, just sit tight for me. Be right back with you, okay? Dispatch quickly let the officer know that the ID was expired. 
One five three more field ten twenty seven ten twenty nine. Ten four. Twenty seven last of first of Anthony Common. Middle of D David. Male. Uh, that was given verbally if you find it and have a photo if you can send it out, please. Won't break for the twenty nine. Twenty-nine last of first of Kenneth, King Edward, Nora, Nora, Edward, Tom, Henry, uh, middle initial M. Mary. He's a junior male. Take return on uh, both of them. Upon further checking, the officer discovered that the individual in the vehicle looks similar to a relative of Anthony, called Eric. He requested the dispatch he, they have a picture of Eric. Alright, you go talk to the driver and see if that's it. Okay. I, uh, he like won't look at me. Okay. And he was very weird about giving his name. Do you got a 99 or something? I don't know. This guy doesn't. Okay. But I don't know that that's him. Right. This is close. One five three more shield. Go ahead. Uh, there's a near hit for an Eric. Uh, Edward Robert by a Charles. Um, could you see if we have a photo of him, maybe? From Stratford with a warrant. Yeah. So, Marshall, one five three. Do you have a picture of him? I sent the photo. That looks like there is. No, it doesn't look like him either, unless he's shaved. Time for. Uh, it's hard to tell. We'll work on. What did they say? He has two ninety nines. Jesus. Four five, smoke honey, I don't, I don't know. Heat, that looks more like, this looks more like it than the other one. The dispatch relayed final confirmation that Anthony is deceased, and the officer immediately detained Eric. Anthony, 4 Okay, Anthony's dead. Oh. <laughs> this is gonna be it. I think. Okay. Five three Marshall, I just want to make sure I heard you hundred percent correct. Um Anthony is ten forty two. Say Eric, step out of the vehicle. Yeah. Eric, <laughs> you want to step out of the vehicle for me? You want to step back here? I just got to talk to you. You alright? Alright, we're just going to go up on the sidewalk and chat. Watch the car. Alright, hey, I'm just going to patch you down real quick. Don't put your hands in your pockets. Oh, I'm sorry. I have it. It's alright. 
Okay, so you're Eric, right? No. No? Okay. Because Anthony... Anthony died. The information you gave me. Okay. So you're being detained right now. Put your hands on your back. While handcuffing him, the officer informed him that they knew he was Eric, not Anthony. Put your hands on your back. Can I take my watch off and give it to him? Yeah, I'll give it to So you're actually Eric, right? Yes, I am. All right. Thank you for being honest with me now. You have warrants for your arrest and you're under arrest really? at this point. Yes, sir. For what? Uh, I believe one was for possession of meth. <laughs> that was the one on a marathon. And it looked like a fail to appear for like operating while revoked or something I like that. I took it in marathon. Other than, uh, uh, they wrote up a paraphernalia ticket and then they tested One, five, three, Marshall. It'll be 10-4, it's Eric, and I'm 1095. Okay, I don't know if they requested charges at a later time then, and that's just why the warrant was issued. Well, you think they would tell a guy? Yeah, I... Not 100% sure on that. <laughs> I'm going to pop my watch off. Go ahead if you can get it. I was trying, but I couldn't really get it. Eric was charged with resisting or obstructing an officer, operating while revoked, Idaho tampering failure to install and bail jumping. If you liked today's stories about true crime, make sure to hit the subscribe button for more fascinating incidents.